reaction way up. My family's got guts. Rocks on right now on Nick. All right, you two cragging, us two. Okay. Dodgeball. But are you going to do the base run or the ice cream? Well, we'll talk about We don't know. we got to figure that out. <laughs> Welcome back to My Family's Got Guts. I'm Ben Lyons here in the Extreme Arena where we have the Howlin' Howls. They are trailing the Lowriders after event number one. We already got familiar with the Lowrider family. Now let's get to know the Howlin' Howls in our gut check. We're the Howlin' Howls! I like playing football. My football position is quarterback. I hope my Heisman Trophy is a little bit bigger than this one, but this is all I got right now. My favorite sport is competitive cheerleading and competitive dance. I work out at the gym. We've done a few triathlons in the past. I also work out with Annie. We do swimming, biking, running. Basically, I'm a bus driver. I drive them around to their sports. <laughs> Alex is our secret weapon on our team. He's got speed and agility. I think that sports can be a reflection of life in general. You know, it's when you have to uh, put your mind to something, see it through to the end. My six kids inspire me to do my sports because I could not keep up with them. Mainly, I'm just inspired to do it to stay in shape and stay healthy. I want us to win because I'm all about us making once-in-a-lifetime memories. We know each other, so we feel like we have the teamwork and the guts to do it. We're taking home the trophy! They trail the lowriders, but all that could change after our upcoming events. We call it Vert Ball. We're taking the classic game of dodgeball to the air right here on the all-new Extreme Arena floor. That's right. Our players are going to start on these launching pads. They're going to grab one dodgeball, maybe two dodgeballs, and fly through the air as they try to not only throw at the opposite team, but catch from the opposite team as well. Both ways get your points. This is not the playground. This is my family's got guts, so it's extreme. Let's go to Asha for the rules. Okay, two players from each team will compete. They've got a minute 30 seconds to score as many points as possible by throwing balls at the opposing team while trying to catch the balls that are being thrown at them, like you said, Ben. They get 10 points for each hit, 10 points for each catch. Back to you, Ben. This is going to be one intense game of vert ball. Let's find out who our teams decided to play. Asha. For the Lowriders, we have Strong Arm Dakota and Catch Em All Randy versus Eagle Eye Marty and Lookout Morgan going for the Howl and Howls. Our players are set. The Extreme Arena is rocking. Let's play some vert ball. Asha, take it away. Okay, can I have a minute 30 on the clock, please? Players on your marks. Get set. This ain't Ben Siller and Vince Vaughn. This is Vert Ball right here on My Family's Got Guts. The players are arming themselves with one, two dodgeballs going head-to-head in high-flying aerial action. Their teammates on the side cheering them on. Oh, there's our first hit. A connect. Great direct shot from the Red Squad. Dakota and Randy for the Low Riders and Marty and Morgan for the Howlin' Howls going head to head right here on the extreme arena floor. You gotta keep your stamina. You gotta keep your wits about you. You never know where a ball is gonna come from. Flying through the air, escaping, getting hit from all the high flying action. The Low Riders off to an early lead as we are halfway through some vert ball. Players got to get up off those launching pads and arm themselves with the dodgeballs, using the ball for a block. She got it right on the top of the head. The Howlin' Howls are on the board. Our players getting tired as we approach 25 seconds left of vert ball. Very difficult to get your footing and get back on those launching pads. Our players, oh, the ball hit the other ball, using it for defense. Like everything in my family's got cuts, a lot of strategy and it's paying off for the low riders right now. Can the Howlin' Howls catch them? Five seconds to go. Four, three. It's going to be a photo finish. A great game of first ball. A lot of high-flying action here on our arena floor. Let's find out the results from Asha. Here it is, Ben. The red team, the low riders. One catch and hit all together. Ten points. The Howlin' Howls. Three hits and catches all together. Gives them 30 points. They are howling away in the lead after that ball, Ben. The Howlin' Howls are back in it here after round number two. A little game of vert ball helped them catch up on the low riders. Let's go to the replay. 
It was a tough start at the beginning for the Howlett House, but they were able to make up for it. Red Squad thought they got away with one, but bam! Right there on the top of the dome. A great game of vert ball right here in the Extreme Arena. Tell me what it's like to fly through the air to play some vert ball. It's amazing. It's amazing. Now, as we head towards the aggro crag, what do you think will be the key to success? The key to success on the aggro crag is getting to the top first. Keeping it very simple, we're going to have a great aggro crag here as we head to our next round. But before we do that, Asha, let's go to the leaderboard. Okay, Ben, here it is. The Lowriders red team on 35 points. The Howl and Howl's in the lead, 49 points. They can go crazy. They can scream. We've had ourselves a great crag coming up next. The heroic battle for a spot in the semifinals comes down to this. An outrageous race up the enormous face of the beast. We call it the aggro crag right here on My Family's Got Guts. Don't go anywhere.